Are you curious about the benefits and drawbacks of using an alternative approach to traditional banking and investing? Infinite banking is a financial strategy that has gained popularity in recent years, but it's also been surrounded by a lot of controversy and confusion. In this video, we're going to take a closer look at what infinite banking is, how it works, and some of the pros and cons associated with this approach. Whether you're a seasoned investor or just getting started with personal finance, this video will provide you with a clear understanding of what infinite banking is all about and things you should be aware of. Most people think of life insurance as a way to provide for their loved ones after they're gone. But with infinite banking, you can really use it for so much more. Before we dive into the pros and cons, it's important to first answer the question, what is infinite banking? Infinite banking, also known as bank on yourself, is a financial strategy that involves using a permanent life insurance policy as a savings vehicle. With the permanent life insurance policy, there are two key areas where your policy can grow value from, your death benefit and your cash value. The premium, which is the amount you pay towards your policy on a monthly or yearly basis, is allocated towards these two areas. When you purchase a permanent life insurance policy, a portion of your premium payments goes towards building cash value within the policy. The cash value grows tax deferred over time, and you can access it through policy loans or withdrawals. The idea is to use the cash value as a source of financing rather than relying on traditional lenders such as a bank or credit union. To better understand how infinite banking works, let's walk through an example. Let's say you purchase a permanent life insurance policy with a death benefit of $500,000 and an annual premium of $5,000. Of that premium, let's say $3,000 goes towards your death benefit and $2,000 goes towards the policy's cash value. Over time, the cash value will grow tax deferred and you can access it through policy loans or withdrawals. Let's say you built up $50,000 in cash value in your policy and find yourself in a situation where you need to borrow money. Instead of borrowing from a traditional lender such as a bank, you could borrow against the cash value of your policy. This money can then be used to finance things such as a car, a down payment on a home, or other expenses. The interest rate on policy loans is typically lower than interest rates charged by traditional lenders such as a bank or credit union. Interest on policy loans is calculated on a simple interest basis, which means that you only pay interest on the amount you borrow, and not on the interest that has occurred on the loan. This can be a significant advantage over other types of loans where interest is typically calculated on a compound basis. But you're probably wondering, when would I need to pay back the loan? Well, the answer to that is, it depends. If you don't pay back before you pass away, the outstanding loan balance would be subtracted from your death benefit, meaning your beneficiaries would receive a reduced payout. Alternatively, you could choose to pay back the loan during your lifetime with interest. This would help ensure that the loan balance is paid off and that your beneficiaries receive the full death benefit. By using infinite banking, you have the flexibility to choose how and when you pay back the loan based on your individual financial situation and goals. Now that we have a good idea of what infinite banking is, it's important to take a closer look at some of the key pros and cons of this financial strategy. Whenever making any financial decision, it is always best to talk to an expert and weigh the pros and cons to determine if something is the right fit for you. Infinite banking has several advantages that make it an appealing option for those looking for more flexibility and control over their finances. Firstly, it allows you to borrow money without relying on traditional lenders, such as a bank or credit union. This gives you greater flexibility and freedom so you can access your own money without worrying about being denied for a loan or meeting strict underwriting guidelines. Another advantage of infinite banking is the tax benefits. As the cash value in your permanent life insurance policy grows tax deferred, you then have the ability to access it without paying income taxes on the growth within your policy. In addition, the cash value in a permanent life insurance policy is guaranteed to grow over time, regardless of market conditions. This provides a level of financial security and stability that is not available with other investment vehicles. However, it is also important to be aware of the potential downsides of infinite banking. Permanent life insurance policies typically have a fee associated with them, so it is essential to understand the fee structure and its impact on your policy growth in the long run. As well, infinite banking is not a simple concept. It can take time to understand all the nuances and details of the strategy. For example, interest charges can be a significant expense over time, reducing the amount of money your beneficiary receives if you borrow against the cash value in your policy. Careful planning is required to ensure you find the right balance between borrowing and leaving your desired amount to your beneficiary. 
It is also worth noting that if you withdraw too much, the policy can lapse. And lastly, the process of obtaining infinite banking can be challenging, especially if you have poor health or other factors that may impact your eligibility. All in all, infinite banking can be an attractive financial strategy for those seeking greater control over their finances. While it offers several advantages such as tax benefits, guaranteed growth, and flexibility, it's essential to be aware of potential downsides of the strategy. If you found this video helpful, be sure to like and subscribe to our channel for more videos on everyday financial and self-improvement topics. Thank you for watching and we'll see you in the next video.